to relate two time series that coincide in terms of their times, but record the values of different variables, we might want to plot them on the same axes. For example, consider the climate underscore change data frame that we've seen previously. This data frame contains two variables measured every month from 1958 until 2016, levels of carbon dioxide and relative temperatures. As before, we can create a figure and axes and add the data from one variable to the plot. And we can add the data from the other variable to the plot. We also add axis labels and show the plot. But this doesn't look right. The line for carbon dioxide has shifted upwards, and the line for relative temperatures looks completely flat. The problem is that the scales for these two measurements are different. You've already seen how you could plot these time series in separate subplots. Here, we're going to plot them in the same subplot using two different y-axis scales. Again, we start by adding the first variable to our axes. Then we use the twin x method to create a twin of this axis. This means that the two axes share the same x-axis, but the y-axis are separate. We add the other variable to this second axis object and show the figure. There's one y-axis scale on the left for the carbon dioxide variable, and another y-axis scale to the right for the temperature variable. Now, you can see the fluctuations in temperature more clearly. But this is still not quite right. The two lines have the same color. Let's take care of that. To separate the variables, We'll encode each one with a different color. We add color to the first variable using the color keyword argument in the call to the plot function. We also set the color in our call to the set underscore y label function. We repeat this in our calls to plot and set underscore y label from the twin axes object. In the resulting figure, each variable has its own color and the y-axis labels clearly tell us which scale belongs to which variable. We can make encoding by color even more distinct by setting not only the color of the y-axis labels, but also the y-axis ticks and the y-axis tick labels. This is done by adding a call to the tick underscore params method. This method takes either y or x as its first argument, pointing to the fact that we are modifying the parameters of the y-axis ticks and tick labels. To change their color, we use the colors keyword argument, setting it to blue. Similarly, we call the tick underscore params method from the twin axis object, setting the colors for these ticks to red. Coloring both the axis label and ticks makes it clear which scale to use with which variable. This seems like a useful pattern. Before we move on, let's implement this as a function that we can reuse. We use the def keyword to indicate that we are defining a function called plot underscore time series. This function takes as arguments an axis object, x and y variables to plot, a color to associate with this variable, as well as x-axis and y-axis labels. The function calls the methods of the axes object that we have seen before. Plot, set underscore x label, set underscore y label, and tick underscore params. Using our function, we don't have to repeat these calls and the code is simpler. In the exercises, you will gradually implement your own function from scratch.